it's okay. Not hurting. Wayne has lived on his 40-acre Casa de Shenandoah since 1968. And despite media reports to the contrary, he has no plans of leaving. I built this place. It didn't build me. So if we walked out those front gates tomorrow, it would be A, by choice, B, we had a wonderful time, thank you, and we'll go somewhere else and create whatever it is we want to create. Uh, nobody is going to drive us from this home. What was the goal here? Was the goal here to lure you into believing there was going to be a Wayne Newton Museum and a partnership? I can only tell you what I believe. Okay. And I believe that to be exactly the fact that it was the art of the deal. They, they promised whatever we wanted to hear uh, to get it as cheaply as they could and never intended to go beyond that. Two months ago, the Newtons declined a buyout offer. And according to the couple, that's when their home became a war zone. It was something we wanted to do for the town, too. Sure. You know, the people of uh, Las Vegas took me in as a 15-year-old. And uh, it was my way of giving back. And you're prepared to fight? Absolutely. That's something I know how to do. You're all wet, huh? Of all the allegations being hurled, it's animal cruelty that appears to affect him the most. He said, I'd rather go back in the water, it's wet. Let me say this, okay, and you're hearing it from my mouth. I have never, ever mistreated one of my animals. And I can tell you that if I ever thought about cheating on my wife, <laughs> much less having her standing there watching it, uh, I wouldn't be allowed to talk about it today. I think that was the biggest low blow, Alicia, is in this complaint, they threw in Salacious this, stuff. you know, to get headlines. The woman alleging sexual harassment is a former employee of the Newtons. Okay. Okay. To think that our 10-year-old daughter would have to go to school and be subject to people saying that her dad sexually harassed somebody or her dad, you know... A born girl. Uh, yeah, a born, <laughs> um, uh, um, uh, was cruel to animals. I know some beautiful women, and they don't reside at the barn.